Hi guys, this is Ariella. I'm really excited to be sharing a tutorial today with you guys on how to shoot in Kelvin white balance. And I'm just going to be showing you how to change the color settings on the back of your camera um, so that you can get really accurate, beautiful color using Kelvin. So in the next clip, you'll see the back of my camera and I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Hi guys, welcome to the back of my Canon 6D. I'm going to show you how I go through the menu settings and set my Kelvin um, white balance. So the first thing you're going to do is press menu and scroll through your menu until you find white balance. See there it is highlighted because I use it a lot. So click on that and then you're going to scroll through until you see the little K there and click on that. That's Kelvin. So that's the first way you can set um, your, you can find Kelvin on your camera. There's another way that I use more often, so I'm going to show you that, um, how I would do that. It's this little Q right here is your quick menu. I use that for everything. So see, it's already set on Kelvin right there, but you would click, um, let me go back here. So this is your little quick menu. You have your shutter speed, aperture, ISO, everything on here. And your white balance is um, right here. See the little K there? Click on that. Um, and then the way that you would change the temperature is that you would use the little dial on the front of your camera right um, here, like you were changing your shutter speed. And let me go back to it. I just clicked something. Okay, there. Um, you just click on that. And then you would use that little dial to scroll up or down. Now, I usually sit at about... Um, I think about 6,500 6, is where um, I just tend to average if I'm shooting like uh, not sunset time but kind of toward the end of the day, this is where I kind of sit. Sometimes people uh, more commonly will sit a little cooler than that. Uh, it went away. Here we go. So a lot of times people will start at about um, say 5,000, 5,500. And that's a good temperature to start at, but um, I like my images a little bit warmer and for the daylight that I'm shooting in, which is a little bit earlier in the day, um, I just end, I end up around 6,000-ish. So um, that's how you, you set the temperature. Higher numbers are warmer, so just think of it as the temperature going up and getting hotter. And then um, you, to cool your image down, you're going to scroll down and make it cooler. So heat it up by going up cool it down by going down. So uh, yeah, that's all you're gonna do to set the temperature. Then you just hit OK. And uh, that temperature will be set for the rest of the set of images that you take until you change it again. So if you go inside and you have it set like this, your images are gonna be really off on color. So uh, sometimes that'll happen, but the good thing is if you're shooting in RAW, you can change it later. Um, but I've learned to try to check my my Kelvin setting before I shoot anything. So uh, anyway, I hope that helps. And I got a few more tips for you in the next clip on reasons I love shooting in Kelvin. So one of the biggest perks to shooting in Kelvin for me is that I can show my clients their images on the back of the camera during a shoot and they will look very similar to how they're going to look after I've edited and delivered them. So the color will be beautiful and I can just turn it around and instead of them looking like a blue Martian, which is how my, my 60 tends to shoot very cool. And so I always felt like when I would show them an image on the back of the camera, it was way off. But w when shooting in Kelvin, I can show my senior girls, I can be like, I can pick that really great headshot that they're gonna love and just turn it around and it looks all warm and beautiful. And um, Plus you see a JPEG preview on the back of your camera. So it's already got contrast added and everything, which is basically all I do in editing is little retouching and then contrast. So uh, that's my biggest um, number one reason why I love Kelvin. The second reason why I really love Kelvin um, is because of editing consistency. For me, if I start with a very cool image that's very blue already, my eye is thrown off right away and I can't, um, I'll never be able to get it quite as warm or, uh, or get the tint quite right if I start with an image that's very cool. It's just, I struggle with that. So if I start with an image that's really nice and warm and very close, then I'm able to just do slight tweaks and get it much more accurate. So I have one last tip for you guys about shooting in Kelvin. If you're very visual like me, then it may be helpful to set your camera to live view while you're changing your Kelvin. 
and then you'll be able to see on your screen the changes to the color and be able to match it to the scene that you're looking at uh, much easier. Uh, Kelvin for me it's not like a certain method of sometimes you'll see a color chart of it's like 3,000 to 4,000 for for this lighting scenario and then it's 7,000 for shade or whatever um, those might be way off but for me it's just a lot easier if I have a visual um, just where I can just turn the dial until it looks right and so if you put your camera on live view you can actually turn the dial and see your live screen changing color until it gets pretty accurate and then um, that's just a very simple easy way to do it okay so I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful to you guys if you have any questions feel free to um, just like post them below and maybe this week I can answer any questions that you have and um, this is so much fun making a tutorial I love sharing what I know and helping other people improve so um, anyway thanks guys for listening bye